Moving on with our GTK uh, Python tutorials. Uh, so far we made a window, positioned it, sized it, made it so you can close it. Let's add some buttons. Now there's different ways to do this. You can put uh, vertical and horizontal um, containers that keep everything aligned and we'll do that in a future tutorial. Today I'm just going to show you how to throw buttons out uh, and give them coordinates on where they should go. Um, Sometimes you want to do this, it can also look kind of sloppy if you're not coordinated. Lots of times I would use these vertical, vertical and horizontal boxes to line everything up. But I just want to do something simple for you today. So let's start, let's have a quick look at our script, win.py. There it is, we've got a pretty wide window now because of uh, the sizing we gave it. It always starts up in the center there. We can hit X to close it and it gives us a little message when we close it. So um, let's edit that. Once again, I'm using Vim as my editor, but you can use whatever text editor you would like. This is our code so far, relatively short. We're gonna add some things uh, before we show the windows, so let's let's put some spaces in here, just give us a little working room. And what we're going to do is we're gonna create self dot, and we'll call it button one. And we're gonna say that button one, so that's an object we're creating, and we're creating a GTK button object. In here we can give it uh, text and we'll just say exit to be the text. The next line we'll add self dot button one. So we're using the object we just created and we're going to connect it to a function. And we'll just connect it to a function we already have we'll say connect to and this will happen when this button is clicked and we're going to say self dot destroy so this will basically close our application or run this function up here which is going to print a message and then quit the main window and close the application so we have we're creating an object that object is a GTK button and it displays the text exit. That, that object we just created, we're going to connect it when it's clicked to a function, self-destroyed, which is this function up here. Let's go ahead and, oh, we're not done yet. <laughs> uh, so next, what we're going to do is we need to tell it where to put that object. And like I said, uh, you can use vertical and horizontal containers, which is how I normally do it. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to use the fixed position now, which allows you to give it coordinates. Um, so what we're going to say is we're going to create an object. We'll call it fixed. And we're going to say that fixed is a GTK dot fixed object. That's fixed with a capital F there. Once again, this is an object that you can name pretty much whatever you want. But, you know, want to make it to make sense. And uh, now we're going to use that fixed object to put the button someplace. So we're now going to say fixed dot put. And what are we going to put? We're going to put the button we just created, which is called self button one comma. And now the coordinates we're going to say um, basically the uh, X position. So left to right. Um, actually, am I thinking 3D World with Blender? Anyway, this will this will be the uh, position left to right, and we'll say 20 for that, and we'll say 30 for uh, the height or the up and down. Uh, I work a lot in Blender. Blender 3D is 3D, so we got Z is up and down, X is left and right. I still think. That's confusing me now. X is still left and right, I'm pretty sure. So we'll say this is the X coordinate and this is the Y coordinate, I think. <laughs> okay, um, what else do we need to do? Right now we have uh, self show window, or we're showing the window, so that's displaying the window. We need to put show, we can either put show for each object we can create. We'll say self button one dot show, self button two for create a second button show. Or what we can do is um, window show all. And as long as there's nothing you want hidden when the program starts, that's fine. Saves you on some code and will just make everything visible. Um, oh, another thing we have to do, we'll put before we show all that, we'll say self window. 
and we need to add something to window, where are we going to add? We're going to add that fixed object. So basically what we're doing is we have a window. Within that window, we're putting a fixed container. And then inside that container, we're putting a button at these coordinates. And like I said, instead of fixed, and we'll go over this in a future tutorial, we can use horizontal and vertical boxes that line everything up. Uh, I think I've got everything in there I need to put. So let's save it all. We'll run our script. There it is. There's our exit button. We'll click exit it displays the message and closes the window okay so let's uh, add another button so right here we'll add another line and just to save time I'm gonna quickly just copy and paste this Whoop. but we're gonna have to make some changes here uh, we're gonna have to rename this we'll make this button two, and we're gonna say the text will say hide and what we'll have it do is we'll say my hide, which is a function that we haven't created yet. So let's come up here. We'll create a function. So we'll define a function. The function will be called my hide. And we're going to say self, comma, widget, colon. And what do we want to happen when we run this function? Well, it's simple. We're going to say self dot button one dot hide oops and what that should do when we click that second button it will hide the first button we still need to uh, put that button in our fixed container so we're going to say fixed dot put self dot button two and we'll position it, we'll say 50, uh, and we'll say 30 there as well. So they're lined up. I think we've got everything. Run it. Ooh, I missed something. Button. Oh, little typo there. Uh, da, 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 da. Somewhere I said sh instead of shelf. I should have read what line it is. Oh, there we go. It's on the fixed put. It's supposed to be self. There we go. We'll save that. We'll run it. Another error. What? Oh. I need to learn to type. Sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> uh, there we go. Now it's typed right. We'll run it. We have two. Uh, I should move this one over a little bit more. But they're overlapping a little bit. But if I hit hide, it hides the exit button. Let's add third button that will show it. First off, let's position that button a little further over. 50 was not far enough. We'll say 100. OK, save time. I'm going to copy and paste here. And I'm also going to copy this. We're just kind of repeating stuff we've already done. So this is where the button's going to be placed, button 3. We'll say move it 200. We'll rename this three. We'll say button three, three. Instead of my hide, we'll say my show. And up here, we'll create another function. And instead of button one hide, we'll say button one show. Save it all, run it. I missed something. Ah, got to rename this to, that's what I get for copy and pasting, but I'm trying to save time here because I'm limited on time. So show, we'll run it, three buttons, should rename that to say show, but we'll hide, show, hide, show, exit. Right here we'll rename this to say show. Hope I'm not running out of time here. So we've created three buttons and gave them each uh, connections to functions. We placed them all and we made them all visible. We added our fixed container and we have our three functions destroy, hide, and show. Let's run it real quick. 
show hide hide show hide show exit thank you for watching visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this have a great